So many people have asked me to do differential equations. First, let's talk about a normal equation. It is y in terms of x, and as x changes, y will change. We can also add more complicated stuff, but this is still just a normal equation. We can make a table, give some x values, plug those x values into the equation, find out some decimal approximations, and then use those points to make a graph. But this is a differential equation. It's dy dx in terms of x and y. It's called a differential equation because dy dx is a differential. Differential is the instantaneous slope at that point. The reason we call it dy dx, slope is rise over run. And if we look at two points on a graph, the rise is the change in y values and the run is the change in x values. And since dy x is the instantaneous rate of change, we wanna move our points closer together. And when they're moved right on top of each other, the two points are x1, y1. So we need to change this to a y1 and this to an x1. So so what is the instantaneous slope? Imagine you're riding a roller coaster with a headlight on it. This is the direction the headlight would go. Now for this, if we subtract y1 minus y1, and x1 minus x1, we get zero over zero. But we can tell right now this slope is not zero over zero. It has a value. So instead of calling it zero over zero, we call this y1 minus y1 dy and this x1 minus x1 dx. It's the difference in y and the difference in the x. So the dy dx is the instantaneous slope at that point. So how do we graph this? Can we make a traditional xy table? No, because if we plug in different values, values of x, we still have a dy dx here, so we're not able to solve for y. This is impossible. The way we graph differential equations, we pick a point, in this case, negative 1, 1. We take our differential equation, we plug in negative 1 for x, plug in 1 for y, simplify it, and then we put that slope right here. On this point, the slope is negative 1, so I drew a little line here to represent negative 1. We can do the same thing for this point, which is 0, 1. Take our differential equation, plug in 0 for x and 1 for y, and we get 0. So we need something with a 0 slope, which is a horizontal line. So that's right here. So now to graph this, we can do this for every single one of these points, and we end up with a slope field that shows the slope at each of these points. Here's the first one we did, and here's the second one that we did. So we can just pick an arbitrary point, in this case, negative 2, 4. If from negative 2, 4, I ride these different slopes, you'll see it makes kind of a U-shaped curve. This is what would happen if you followed the slopes. And we could choose another point, and we can follow this path is going to be more like a shape like that. And depending on where you put a point, you're going to get many different solutions to this. There is an equation that describes all of these. And this is it right here. This is the solution to the differential equation. The c sub 1 here is a constant. It can change. In this particular case, the c sub 1 is equal to 5. Here, the c sub 1 is equal to negative 40, negative 15, negative 3, 35, 66. And all of these are solutions to this differential equation. This is one of my favorite differential equations, negative x over y. Because when you pick a point on this, it makes a circle. Or you can pick another point, it also makes a circle. And this is the solution set to this differential equation. Are you curious how we actually calculate these? So first, we have our differential equation equation. We multiply both sides by y dx. The y's are going to cancel on this side and the dx's are going to cancel on this side. So we end up with y dy equals negative x dx. Then we're going to do something called integration. We're going to integrate both sides of the equation. I'll also make more videos about integration. But these are the notes for this type of integration. To integrate these, you just take whatever the exponent is for the variable, add 1 to it, and then divide by that same number. Each of these are to the power of 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So we're going to do it to the second power and divide by 2. Same thing for this one. You also do plus c. Then from here, if you multiply both sides by 2, the 2's cancel on the left side, which gives us y squared. And then this 2 distributes here, which just gives us a negative x squared. And then we have a 2c. And then we can define c sub 1 to equal 2c. And then to solve for y, we square root both sides. And that gives us the solution to our differential equation. This definitely takes some knowledge of calculus, but this is the simplest I can make an introduction to differential equations. Hope you guys like it. Comment on what you'd like me to talk about next. I'll talk to you soon.